All right, welcome back. My name is Philip Riley. I'm a student at the Guild Hall at SMU studying level design, part of cohort 15. Uh, we're looking at Kismet. This is our Kismet tutorial, part three, uh, for UDK version uh, December 2010. Today's date is January 26th, 2011. In the last two uh, videos, we have uh, toggle lights, and now we've added a countdown timer to one of those toggle lights. Uh, we're going to fix that countdown timer in this video so that it resets the number to the proper value. If we jump into Kismet right here, we'll see our little sequence that we have. I'm going to add something to reset this number, this value in this circle, so that when it gets counted down, it comes back to five. Let's go ahead and center our network nodes a little bit over there. I'm going to grab this trigger and stretch it out. There we go. I'm going to break this link and we're going to get going. What I need to do is I need to add a set variable for an integer. Now what we do here is we say that the value of this integer that we want to set, we want it to always be set to 5. So every time that this uh, integer set integer uh, node gets triggered, it's going to set its target to 5. So let's drag our target to this value here and let's put this in line. Now what happens is every time you hit the trigger it will reset it to 5. Let's test that real quickly. In game and there we're counting down from 5. And the lights change. If I hit it again it counts down from 5. That's pretty cool. Now what happens if I hit it mid-sequence like players like to do and mash a button? Oh, I reset it to 5 every single time. It's time to fix that. Let's go back into Kismet again. And what we need is we need to use, we need to use a Boolean operator. Boolean is a, a logic uh, operator. It just has a true or false value with a 0 or a 1. Let's put that right here in here. I'm going to go ahead and add a Boolean uh, a set Boolean value, I'm sorry. And then we're also going to need a comparison to compare this Boolean value. So what's going to happen? Let's think about this for a second. What we want to have happen for, for someone to start this sequence. And when they start the sequence, they hit the trigger, it hits this comparison. We're going to have a Boolean value here. I'll create a new one. And it's already at false. So we want it to stop it when it runs through. So the question to ask is, let's look at this. Let's add a, com a comment to it. Uh, is the sequence running? Like that. And now we see the comment up here. If the sequence is not running when it's false, we want it to run. Because it's going to start at false and that's what we want it to have happen. And we want it to continue over here. But now let's suppose the sequence is running. We want to stop the player from, from rerunning the sequence again. We need to have something to set this value to true. So let's change this target, and under target values, we're going to put a checkbox, which will set it to true. Let's go test that. Okay. Counting down, and I cannot interact with it. You can hear me hitting the keys. And now I can't even restart it, because that value is still set to true, but it did stop us from, inter from interacting with it and interrupting it. So, what we can do now, so I'm going to copy this boolean, the set boolean value. I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to drag it all the way over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break this link here. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And when we're done with the toggle, I want this boolean to change back to false. So now when the entire sequence is complete, it will reset that boolean, and we can rerun it again. Let's test that. Play from here, and trigger the sequence and I cannot interrupt it. I cannot restart it. Okay, lights are off. Let's run it again. And there's a the sequence again. And I still can't interrupt it. We have a sequence that runs now without the player uh, being able to mess it up. That's fantastic. All right. So now we have a sequence where the lights trigger. It has a nice countdown. And the player cannot interrupt what happens. In our next video, we're going to add a last element to this and add some excitement to our level.